Councilman Manny Pelias is asking for a comprehensive study and briefing on how property is appraised for taxing. Pelias wants to look into how property valuations differ from district to district and how the appraisal process can become more transparent. A lawsuit filed on behalf of a transgender woman who was assaulted in a Texas prison for men has resulted in the state's prison system updating its LGBTQ policy. In Texas, transgender prisoners are housed according to their sex at birth. A spokesman says the department was in full compliance with federal law and had already been working on policy changes prior to that lawsuit. Our business news update now with Tony Casada from the San Antonio Business Journal. Thanks, Sherry. The Securities and Exchange Commission has launched an investigation into San Antonio-based Globalscape, a tech company that sells secure online file transfer services. The SEC's investigation comes nearly one year after Globalscape's management became aware that so-called side agreements were being made with customers by undisclosed employees. Those side agreements resulted in inflated revenue and earnings figures, according to filings with the SEC and a company statement. Accounting firm Ridout Barrett & Company has named Dustin Michalek as managing shareholder, replacing longtime managing shareholder Tony Ridout. Michalek started with the firm as an intern while attending St. Edwards University in Austin, graduating in 2004 and becoming a shareholder in 2009. Thanks, Tony. We're online at klrn.org news.